Liquid, and I create music for content creators. Searching for music for your next video? Hey, let's not let YouTube play commercials. What's up, everybody? My name's Aaron Ciotti. Everybody just calls me Ciotti. And tonight, we're going to do a quick stream before um, DJ. And uh, he comes on at 9, so he comes on in an hour from now. So we'll see what, how much we can get done in an hour on the Tiny Trainer over here, which needs a little bit of, uh, needs a little bit of love. Looks like the chat, we've got Adam Fraze, the squints, the most squinty of FPV. BH is here, Brent Vogel sang, Ken Hill, Rob Axelson, William Barlow, Tiago Ramos, and Yannick G. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Thanks for coming. Let me get out of the participant list that doesn't work all that well anyway. Hey, there we go. I appreciate that, Rob. Okay, well, let's just go because an hour is not a lot of time with how slow I build. <laughs> Here we go. And um, so this thing's been fun. I've been, uh, th this rig has actually had to come apart pretty much every day so far. But I mean, that's pretty normal with like a new frame and, and I'm, I'm not building it the way that it was kind of intended to be built. Um, the HD board in here has, has been a cause of the majority of the issues. Um, although my flying has also been to blame for some of the other issues. Um, I am having a really weird... Alright, so first and foremost, these 1304s um, have never been able to and still can't really handle... A, uh, a three inch prop they're they they really only shine on a two and a half inch prop um so that first that that's the first um and main reason that this is coming apart right now um even on the fort so here's the other thing uh after spending some time with the uh this is going to be such a shocker I, I i can't wait to tell you guys this um, after spending some time with the, uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> oh, so I've, I've had, <laughs> I've had this on a whole bunch of different props. Uh, first set of props I was running this on was the, uh, are going to be like Evan's official prop, which uh, is the 3 by one5 by 3 made by HQ. And uh, Evan's motors are um, 1404, uh, 4,533 KV. A play on 533, the name of the company, Fly 533. Uh, that motor and prop and setup here's the big surprise right um it feels awful fat and heavy and almost like you're flying a an actual everything i've ever heard about flying an actual racer um <laughs> so but for freestyle i've i had already removed these guys by the way uh for freestyle I don't like that. Um, I do not like the way that that flies uh, for freestyle with HD. So I want more power. Um, but hang on one second. I gotta. Uh, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Let me give you guys something to watch. Hold on.
All right, I'm back. I had to take care of something there. Hold on a second. Let's get this paused. Come on. Come on. Come on, computer. You can do it. All right. All right, back to work. Wait, no. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to do the. Um, I'm gonna have to do the chat on the run here. So, uh, Rob Axelson, I appreciate that man. Uh, my spirits are. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the word is, but uh, I'm alive, man. I'm still here, still kicking. God damn it. Uh, your flying is fine. You just need your crashing down. Yeah. Unfortunately, the crashing is a big part of the flying. Uh, what are we doing? Motors? Oh, so to get you guys caught up, um, I had this apart the other night because the the shrink wrap on the VTX had split. So I put a much a much thicker piece of shrink wrap on there. And now that one has split too. Uh, so I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> like... I, I'm, I guess let's look at it. I don't, I don't really understand how this is. And I also moved the, uh, I had the battery going on the bottom and now I moved it up to the top to see if it would be any better on the top. I don't know if it is. Um, I also found out that when you plug in here, which I actually need to do in a minute, let me do this to remind myself. Uh, when you plug in here with the remote and you adjust like, oh, I don't know, let's say sharpness, it adjusts the sharpness in the FPV feed and in the HD feed. So, and one of the problems these things have is that they over sharpen like crazy. Uh, so, uh, although the FPV feed is not sharp at all. Uh, so, it's very strange, it's a, it's a very strange balance that you have to, so, it, initially, I raised it all the way up, uh, full sharpness, and that made the FPV feed better, like, legitimately better, um, because it's just extremely soft, and then, uh, but then the HD footage looked awful, uh, so I went the other way with it. Uh, and I brought the sharpness all the way down to a factor of two, and um, which will make the HD better because it won't be over sharpened. And now I can barely fly the damn thing. <laughs> like the the, um, the FPV feed in the goggles is just useless. Um, it's it's like constantly flying through fog. So, it would appear <laughs> that the issue here is that this VTX is just getting hideously hot. Um, which makes sense, because they're so small. I didn't... I'm, I, I'm not running it at 400 milliwatt. Um, I'm only running it at 200, but Jesus, look how hot it's getting. It's, it's, it's like melting this shrink wrap, and this is big, thick shrink wrap oh my god this is insane okay um look at that it like molded <laughs> the shrink wrap to the to the chipset okay so let's try this this time i'm gonna put that shrink wrap on and i'm not even gonna shrink it down i'm just gonna leave it on there and uh my hunch is that the heat from the vtx is gonna shrink it down um which, I don't know, maybe that'll be a good thing? I have a feeling it's just going to split again. But we'll give it a try. I mean, I don't really know what else to do. I've now used the TBS um, PVC-based shrink wrap. Um, and that broke, and I lost the goddamn uh, the Axi, the micro Axi. So now I'm having to use a stupid linear. Um, but now it... It, uh, yeah, it broke the, the stretchy, uh, like silicone or rubber based or whatever the hell it is, shrink wrap, but I did, I did shrink it on there, like I, 
I almost didn't, but then I changed my mind and I did shrink it on there. So maybe that's what screwed it up. Um, so this time I'll try not shrinking it on there. Look how thick this is, though. This is like heavy goddamn duty shrink wrap. All right, so let's uh, let's see. Let's just cut it to um, cut it to length here. Cut it a little bit shorter, just because I don't have much of it. Um, oh, the chat, the chat, the chat. Right, 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 right. Zach Barnes has been waiting for this since the last stream. You and me both, Zach. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Tiago says, the frame and the canopy have endured the abuse. Well, I haven't really abused them much, uh, mainly because I can't see where the fuck I'm going. <laughs> um, I have pretty much zero confidence flying this uh, with the uh, having to fly through this FPV feed. Um, I I'm, I'm trying my best to just maintain this HD or nothing approach to um, quads other than indoor tiny whoops although I am gonna be hanging an Insta360 Go on the tiny whoop at some point here if they ever come in stock on Best Buy uh, so yeah I... <laughs> this Caddx baby turtle is Quite the challenge to fly through with whatever the word is. Um, it's really bad. <laughs> like it's it's um, the FPV feed is kind of it's kind of incredible how bad it is. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys see in a minute, but first I wanted to grab the. Uh, the HD card out of this. That's one of the things I wanted to do was just let the uh, let the footage roll of this thing on all different. Um, oh, okay. So I I spent a couple days here. Um, the, the flying that I have done um, out front has been with this thing primarily, and uh, I've been just trying to find a prop that would work on these 1304 5000s on 4s. I'm sorry, on 3S rather, on these 3S 450 and 550 batteries. Um, and it, it, it's not looking great. I, like, I've always said that the 1304s and the 1404s should be on a um, on a 2.5 inch prop, and this has really reinforced that. I, I really have not found um, that previously I had said that in reference to uh, being on 4S. 4S 450s with these 1304 5000s, um, it just seemed to be too much KV, too much RPM, but it also felt like the motor didn't have enough torque to really um, to really control a three inch prop well for freestyle. Um, and I thought maybe going uh, maybe going to 3S to bring that KV down right by 25%. Um, I thought that might help, but it didn't. It um, it still just doesn't, in my opinion, for again for freestyle, doesn't really have the grunt. Um, what's up, Mark Kunoff? I see you tagging me, uh, weirdo. I'm keeping well, brother. Mark Kunoff hates it when you hit the scraggly while looking back. Happens all the effing time. What's up, Airbender? Am I caught up? Oh my god, no way. Uh, <laughs> the hair has its personality personality of its own, indeed. And Weirdo says, take a wild guess what my fix is. Uh, definitely shrink wrap. Definitely not duct tape. All right, so let me get a couple of these. Oh, fucker, I deleted them all. Well, I have two of them. I didn't delete them all. I deleted all but two. Um... <clears throat> all right I got those all queued up I think do I strange what is on this memory card did I not fly this what is happening hold on 
Um, I don't think it was recording. How does that happen? Oh, come on, you... Really? Was it not recording? Oh, there it is. Nope, 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 nope. I was looking on the wrong part of the memory card. <laughs> I was looking in the, uh, the DCIM part of the memory card, not in the Cadex folder. Come on, man. Work. I ask so little of you, computer. I ask so little. I run, like, four programs. God damn you. There we go. Okay. And... Come on. Gotta be some flying in here somewhere. Here we go. Okay, cool. Let me put this... Alright, the chat's gonna go away for for a little bit while I go back and forth with this footage. Um, I guess I might as well play the audio from it. Because, surprisingly, the audio is not that bad. Man, this HD is not that good either. It's a very gray day out, which really doesn't help, but um, I don't know. You'll get the idea. Here you guys go. I'm going to give you um, pretty much all the flying I've done with this in the last two days. And, oh, so in terms of propellers, what you're going to see, you're going to see me go from, in between each one of these flights, I change propellers. So you're going to see me go from HQ 3x1.5x3s to um, uh, Emacs 3-inch Avans, and then uh, Gemfan Windancer 3028s, and then... Uh, four blade HQ three by three by three or 2.9 by 2.9 by three I think it actually is and then the last props are these uh, Rotorex tri blades but they're a 3040 3040 super super pitchy big fat blade really draggy prop um, I just basically kept pitching up because I don't have enough RPM, in my opinion. That's why I'm going to these 1404-6000s, because I want the RPM. Um, but yeah, you, you guys will get to see here. And this is also with the tune kind of cranked. Um, these RCX motors are nice and smooth, so I've got the tune up in like the, 70 and the 70s and the 80s. Um, even with that, even with it, like, and the, the filtering's dropped way down. Um, very, very, very low latency, but it just doesn't have the... Um, it just doesn't have the thrust to fully control the prop wash. Um, but here you guys go. Uh, let me do this differently. Let me go here and I'll pull this into VLC. And then we'll go to the end of this one. Yeah, look at that. I'll go right to the next one. Cool. What the fuck? Why is VLC so stuttery? Come on, dude. Are you shitting me? You're... Well, maybe we'll just watch him in this window. I'm... I, I don't know where the audio is, though. There should be audio. Is there audio? Oh, wow, it's really low. Okay, well, here you guys go. Audio is really low, so that'll be nice because it won't deafen you to death.
These are the HQ4 blades. I just turned one of them into an HQ3 blade. Uh, and then this is, uh, what's this? This is, oh Christ, I forget what this is. Oh, these are wind dancers. These are the wind dancers. Yeah, clear props, wind dancers. These are the 3040s, Rotorx 3040s, 3044 actually.
All right, so that's it. That's uh, all the flying I did today. Hey, Blizzard FPV with two Canadian dollary dues. Thank you, brother. Insta360 Go is cool with me, he says. Much appreciated. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, not enough thrust for a freestyle rig, right? Just just not enough? Or, uh, or just enough? Or eat cow turds? Those are your three options. Type one of them into the chat or death by... Firing squad. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. There we go. Alright, that's what I wanted to do. Okay, so I'm trying a little bit of a different way to mount this guy. We'll see if it works. Slightly different. Pretty similar. I'm just gonna be so confused if this uh, if this shrink wrap splits again on this VTX. Like, how fucking hot could it possibly be getting? I mean, I know they get hot, but Jesus. And like, only on 200 milliwatts too. All right. What's up, stuck in trees? What's up, Athix? I'm very behind in the chat. I'm 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 very uh, I'm trying to rush through this to get it done by nine, uh, which is not going to happen because I haven't even turned the fucking soldering iron on yet. Um, although it might, it might, it might. As it's warming up, let me uh, strip these guys. Try not to uh, run over into DJ's time if at all possible. Um, no, actually, what I'm going to do is take these off first and then I'm going to um, and then I can measure them next to the Emacs motors so we're gonna be gaining a millimeter on the stator width uh, we're gonna be gaining some weight on the ends of the arms uh, and we're gonna be gaining a thousand kV and I'll do those tests with the same propellers probably again tomorrow uh, not all the same propellers because the HQ 3x1.5s exploded in spectacular fashion. Uh, so the other thing that I was running into with this build yesterday is that the, um, the farts. Uh, what was happening? I don't remember. Oh yeah, the canopy was pushing down on the HD board and causing it to do all kinds of wacky shit. Uh, so I spent a little bit of time on the couch uh, with Kristen last night with a um, uh, uh, a diamond file from when I bought something from Impulse, uh, and I just clearance the uh, I just clearance the corners of the canopy here so that it doesn't hit the HD board and I, I didn't have to, to remove that much material uh, it wasn't bad at all I don't really think that I've affected the the strength of the of the canopy at all um, but yeah if, if you plan on building one of these in HD um, which I kinda don't recommend to be really honest I mean unless these mode I, I don't know it, from the get-go, it never made much sense as a as an HD build, mainly because the camera is so low, um, and it you're just like forcing props into view, basically. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't think anybody should really bu build this buy this for HD. I think there are other uh, choices that would be better for that, but. It was a good experiment, right? And it is interesting to see what the HD looks like from this thing. Uh, but yeah, I I think at some point I even might actually uh, take the HD out of this and throw the... Uh, I have that Phoenix Nano just sitting here waiting for some love. And uh, that thing would be perfect in here. 
See, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's meant, it, it's, you know, the frame has a purpose, and I'm outside of that purpose with a camera that's almost impossible to fly through. <laughs> so it's kind of like, uh, like I, I'm willing to make sacrifices for HD, um, but not being able to see in the FPV feed is a rough sacrifice. Um, if it was like some kind of a cinematic rig, I, I, I guess that would be a sacrifice that you could make, but it's not. So yeah, don't build yours with HD. <laughs> uh, shit, you guys can't see me. Sorry. I asked you guys questions in the that you answer in the chat and then I don't look at the chat or the computer for that matter to see that the camera's not even pointing at what I'm doing but that's life sometimes that's life as a as a streaming sensation I guess right All right, now they look pretty. That's that's very important for those uh, solder pads to look pretty. All right, so yeah, these uh, these thirteen oh four five thousands are destined for a two and a half inch build, which I kind of knew, but it is nice to sort of confirm that, and um, that's what we've done. Even now that that back when I'd kind of done that testing previously. Um, not done that testing, but just kind of came to that realization. Uh, we didn't have the HQ uh, 3x1.5s. You know, I also, I, I was thinking maybe, I, I was thinking of trying the Gemfan uh, 3016 tri-blades, but then I realized it's, they're, you know, 3016 versus 3015. Like, they're, they're, they're going to perform just like the HQ 3x1.5s. So I just said, screw it, and skipped it. <clears throat> What are you doing? Why are you and Jen done talking already? Usually you guys yap for yenta hours. How long was an hour now? Really? Yeah. It took me that long to start streaming? Jesus. It's like watching mo monkeys use tools for the first time up in here. And let's chop some chop chops. What do you guys say? Should we chop some choppy chop chops? Um, Daniel says, isn't the quad supposed to emulate a 12,000 gram tool bus, school bus, uh, with just enough power to race slowly through some giant <laughs> There's some giant watches, so it should be underpowered. Yeah, that's uh, my exact assumption, too, Daniel. Um, that is, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I agree. And that's just not, you know, I, I've I've flown underpowered rigs before. I'm cool with it. Like it's, it's fun in its own right, but. Um, it's just not what I want for freestyle. Like I was trying to fly, I was I was really trying to fly it freestyly the other day, and it was really difficult. Like I just kept getting caught out in these situations where I didn't have anywhere near enough thrust to pull out of out of dives and and shit like that. And I just eventually I was just like, okay, what 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 are we doing here? Where'd the fourth motor go? Has anyone seen it? I think it had four motors on it. I mean... Is it on the ground? No. Is it on my lap? No. Was I flying it with three motors? Was that the problem? Fuck. Where could it have gone? What? I took one off, well, I mean, I took them one off at a time. I was about to say I took one off first, but, I mean, that's kind of the dumbest thing ever. 
Obviously, I took one off first. If I hadn't, they'd all still be on there. Over there, thanks. <laughs> uh, and it's not the one in the lineup. So has nobody asked about the, the lineup of motors yet? What the fuck, guys? Do you not care? Do you not think it's weird to have 18 fucking motors all lined up here? Just Is that just like... Is that just like a commonplace thing now? Is that your second one, Rage says? Um, what do you mean second one, Rage? Second Tiny Trainer? No. Um, I had red TPU on it, and I fucked up the... Uh, I, 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 I fucked up this battery pouch thingy. Um, oh, here it is. I found it. Uh, and so I changed it over to the purple TPU because I have the most awesome patrons and fans that are willing to print me TPU stuff and just send it out of the kindness of their awesome hearts. Okay, cool. So now those motors will go where they belong, which is on a CB two and a half, which I think I'm actually going to build without, um, without HD, but I think I'm going to build it to carry HD, basically the, the Insta360 Go. I think that's going to be a straight up um, carry rig. I forgot that you can't have these, um, you can't have this big knobbly bit of the, uh, of the zip tie on the side of this frame because the canopy wants to take up that same space. So I need to rotate this fucker upwards, which it's really fighting me on. Come on. Farts. There we go. There we go. Okay, that's better. And hopefully that didn't just wreck that connector. Or solder joint, rather. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're saying there's a chance. Thanks, Rage. I appreciate it, man. All right. Well, let's see how that holds up. I, I don't... <laughs> I've never had so much problem with a... Um, with keeping a, a UFL shrink wrap down to a, uh, a VTX before. Okay, what are we doing? We're stripping and tinning and slapping these motors on. All right, let's get it. Uh, what am I putting these on to? Race wires? They got a little bit of length to them, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. This is really squishy silicone. I didn't make the grunt noise. Now I paid the price. Ugh, gross. That pulled the whole shitload of the silicone off. Yikes. All right. That one was better. And... Got it. All right, now we're in the flow. There's a flying flow and then there's a building flow. If you don't have them both, you're doomed. Let me just do this to kind of speed this up a little bit. I'm just going to sort of leave little notches on these guys. Just so they're a little bit more willing to rip where I want them to. Alright. Wish I could do all three of them at once, but I'm always afraid of uh, <clears throat> pulling the wire off of the winding. Probably get away with it with a with a big proper five inch motor, but on these little guys, I don't think you could. Big Willie likes the purple. Yeah, I dig it too. I was I wanted to try to try to do a purple and red mix, but I just don't think it looks right with the with the two. I tried. I just can't get them to 
to mix quite right because it looks because the, there's the there's the big piece to hold the battery in and then there's the um, the front piece to hold the camera and then um, and then there's the fin so it's like the big piece for the battery wraps around um, and then butts right up against the the front camera piece so if you do if you do different colors between those two you've got the two different colors sitting right next to each other which looks kind of silly in my opinion and then and then um, and then you just have a little fin and just having the fin be a different color it just looks like a mistake <laughs> so yeah I think I'll stay all purple for the time being. <clears throat> okay, cool. Last one. If you guys normally watch bot screen stream, go over there. He has started, I believe. I think I heard my computer say it's nine o'clock. Yeah, I did. I'm actually going to hop over there when I'm done uh, to give them an update on the GoFundMe. Um, the GoFundMe that we made through um, FPV Therapy for um, Bot Grinder's brother. Uh, last I saw, it was at $600. So $600 getting uh, donated to uh, NAMI, the North, uh, North American Alliance uh, for Mental... Um, Mental health. What the hell's the I stand for in NAMI? Mental. Huh. I never thought about that. Somebody will hook me up in the chat, I hope. <clears throat> Somebody that knows what's what. Somebody that knows more than me. All right, little fellas, be, be sat like that. Stop moving. Farts. Stupid magnets. Goddamn magnets. All right, I think I should be able to get them all like that. Uh, mental illness, that's it. Mental illness. Right, 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 right. I'm used to calling it mental health. It's actually mental illness. Good call. Thank you, Daniel. I appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> what are you guys talking about? Emacs 1404s? I want to know what you think of the Emacs 1404s. Yannick, you won't have to wait long. I'm going to try to uh, hopefully fly them tomorrow. Um, it is a little too dark here to get them up in the air tonight. Not to mention that it will take me some time to get this finished because I build slow all right if I miss anybody in chat that's more than like a full screen up just uh, do me a favor and, and post it again real quick uh, I'm not gonna scroll up in the chat because I just want to rip through this and uh, let you guys get over to bot stream I don't like to bleed over onto uh, somebody else's established time slot that they've been in for. Bot's been streaming Friday nights for a long time, come to think of it. Long time. Oh man, this wire looks like ass. I, had a, I was on a good roll there, and then this, this wire is frayed to shit. These all done, I think? Yeah. Alright, hit me with those questions, too, if you have them. Because uh, once this is done, we're just going to break for lunch here. <laughs> no, i got to break for lunch. I'm going to go spend some time with Kristen on the couch, and I can't wait. All right. 
We got that. Let's get this. Let's smack these guys down. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so here's the... So, you guys got to see the HD footage, right? Let me give you the... Uh, let me. I hooked up the, the power play. Because you guys will not believe how bad the... Um, the FPV feed is. Alright. Uh, Zach is looking for a recommendation on motors. 2 inch 2S freestyle rig, probably Twiglet Mini. Thinking 1103-8500 Mambo, but I had suggestions to go higher KV. Yeah, on 2S, you want to be closer to 10,000 KV. Um, think of it this way. On, on 3S, people are running between 5,000 and 7,500. And when you scale that down to 2S, that becomes 75, um, 75 to 10, 7,500 to 10,000. Um, so yeah, I mean, those 8,500s will work, but a, t a 10 or 11,000 KV is, is going to be better for sure. Um, yeah, he hasn't been doing it for 10 years. Nobody's been flying for 10 years, unless he was doing it for another hobby. Uh, Tiago, which Ecos did you get? Um, John Harry's, uh, any reason for not twisting wires before tinning? Um, basically, I only twist them if they fray. Um, by, by pulling off with my fingernails, the, the wires stay, um, behaved, and then I can just tin them, and they just stay behaved. Um, it's only if I fuck up or if I flatten them too hard, um, that I can start to get, like, wires wanting to move around. Basically, if, if they're not perfectly in a line, if they fan out at all, that's when I'll go in there and, and close them down or twist them. Um, otherwise, I just, yeah, I don't find that twisting them makes them tighter than they are when they're just straight in a line, essentially. Paulie Lee, be good, man. Thanks for hanging. All right, back to work. Back to work. Come on, get off of there. There we go. Uh, right, okay. Murders. Got it. Soldering. It's, um, if, 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 like, time, when, when time is no, uh, when time is no object, I guess is a way to say it, um, I'll twist them all down, but typically I'm, I'm not just, like, like, if I'm enjoying myself doing a build, I'll do everything the right way, uh, but usually I'm just trying to get builds done, um, mainly because I don't love building. Um, I'm not going to say that I don't like building because sometimes it's fun but um, I love flying and I tolerate building <laughs> I guess is a way to put it come on get down there there we go This rotated in a weird way. I'll do this. I'll do the next one better so that you guys can actually see what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> uh, let me just get this one motor screwed down. Yeah, so I've just barely started to chip a little bit at the carbon here. Uh, nothing major though. No real, not a not a single hit that I would consider any kind of a durability test um, yet on this frame. Of course, I cut these too long. God damn it. You gotta use really thin screws on this, or uh, short motor screws on this. Really, really short. I think they're like M, M2 by 
four. Or they might even be M2 by three. They are short as yet. And I just dropped one. And it's gone forever. God damn you! Ah, I got it! Found it. Um, yeah, this is... this. I cut this, these motor wires too long. That was stupid. Okay, there we go. That's a little better. God, they were so long I could barely get the second screw in here. Okay, so there we go. Let's just move this back ever so slightly. Oh shit, I hope it sticks. Please don't make me get a new piece of VHB. Please just be sticky, VHB. Just be a sticky fella. Zach Barnes, enjoy. I'll be over there soon enough. Yeah, guys, uh, at some point, go show Bot some love. Um, he's got it really rough right now. I um, I can't even begin to imagine what he's going through. I, I, I really can't imagine because I don't have siblings. Um, so I really have no idea. But um, I have to assume that it's just awful. All right. Here we go with motor number deuce. Soldering iron, what's happening? Did you cool off? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You know what? It, so I'm realizing what it is is by not using the um, by not using the sponge, I never drop the temperature of the iron down enough for the um, for the sleep timer thing to sort of like wake up or, or, or like see that it's woken up um, and that's why it goes to sleep because it just it thinks it's it thinks I'm constantly not using it because the temperature isn't dropping down enough um, or as much as it expects it to if someone were using it it would be cool if I could like set the threshold of temperature drop right like that's what I would need to do is like lower the threshold on temperature drop to like a couple degrees because it only I don't think it goes down at all when you jam it into the uh, into the um, the kabuki kabuki <laughs> into the uh, steel wool filled guys but it must drop a couple degrees when you're actually soldering and the heat is being sucked away into the PCB. Oh, come on. There we go. And is that flat now? Yeah, it did. All right, good. Good enough. What's going on, Supercell? How are you, man? How'd you been? Okay. Get this guy on here. Uh, we are swapping from RCX 1304s to Emacs. I'm sorry. RCX 1304 5000s. That's important. Uh, to these Emacs 1404 6000s. Because... 5,000 kV on 3S is just not enough for uh, the way that I fly. Basically, it seems like the, the recommended build is go figure to make the, the tiny trainer perform like the, like the full-size racer that it was uh, designed to be a tiny version of, would you? I mean, can you imagine that? <laughs> I 
All right, there's number two. And then I also need to fix the, uh, the sharpness, which is why I have this remote out. And then at some point, I th think I'm actually going to take the HD off of this thing. Um, it just doesn't make any sense to be an HD rig. Be cool if there was a. Be cool if there was like a um, Insta 360 Go mount that came off the back of this to uh, to do the third person thing, you know? Because this is such a good looking rig, it would be kind of like the perfect rig to have that uh, third person view of. Probably make something that slides right over these rear standoffs and then extends out the back for the 360. That'd be pretty dope. Random Chaos with 499. Thank you, brother. Put this towards a set of M2 screws in all length. Keep on keeping on, good buddy. Let me show you something random. I pretty much never need to buy M2 hardware ever again because <laughs> I've hoarded all of them that I've ever gotten. Uh, from buying micro motors and micro ESCs and micro flight controllers. <laughs> so this is uh, relatively random over here. And then it's M2 by 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, or no, I'm sorry, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and then it goes uh, 18, 20, 25, I, I believe. It goes back on itself. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys win a, uh, I mean, well, when you guys win the uh, the giveaways, if there's ever hardware that you need, just ask me. Um, some hardware I have so much of that I like just don't know what to do with it. Um, See, so yeah, I would love for it to go to uh, to good homes. All right, stay flat, you jerk. Nah, whatever, it's fine. Not a beauty contest, unfortunately. If it was, whoo, I'd be e famous as fuck. Always make sure the pad flows. Never just bail once you see the uh, the solder that you use to tin flow. You gotta wait until you see the whole pad flow, or else you're gonna get a cold, the coldest of cold solder joints. Those don't look great, but yeah, they're fine. God, you can really half-ass these joints on this thing because the uh, the canopy protects everything. The canopy protects all the uh, all the screws and shit, or uh, the wires rather. Yeah, get in there. Oh, I'm putting them in wrong. Ah! Oh wait, you guys can't see. <laughs> and there we go. Okay. Got this fella on here. And okay. I'm using this guy to tighten them because that Wiha M driver starting to get rounded off and what's annoying is to just buy one Wiha or Wiha I've heard it pronounced as well um, it's really expensive to just buy one like if you buy a whole kit it's it's a really good price but I, for the past like 10 years back when I was building airsoft guns I would use this, I guess it's the, I, I guess it's actually the M1.5, but you use it for M2 screws. Um, 
Airsoft used a lot of these too, so this thing is like really had the hell beaten out of it over the last like 15 years. Frank, do they really have a lifetime warranty? I mean, it would make sense. They're expensive. And, like, that's a thing that tool companies do. I wonder if that covers it just getting worn down the way that it has. Huh. It'd be pretty fucking cool if they just sent me a replacement. Take, like, a macro picture of how it's kind of rounded out. Shit. Good call. It is, I, it, I mean, to be honest, it is fucking crazy what Wiz costs, <laughs> especially when you buy them individually, Jesus. Yeah, that's fine. That's good enough. Um, fuck, these guys are a little long, though. This ought to be interesting. Yeah, forts. Just pay shipping. Dude. If Weha does that, I'm gonna... I'm gonna demand that they come on the stream and become a sponsor. <laughs> Can you imagine? They're like, oh, okay. We'll send somebody out to America. Uh, Alright, so it looks like I lost one of these... Which is annoying because it's hard to find these shorter ones. I think I think these are actually M. Fucking oh no, they're not. They're M4s. I was gonna say I think they're M3s, but they're definitely not M3s. No way in hell. Uh, actually, they are. They are M3s. I'll be damned. Uh, all right. Well, let's see how the M4 goes in there. Let's see how much of it sticks out. Not enough to cause a problem. Yeah, that's fine. Kind of doing it off camera, sorry about that, but... Yeah, we'll be alright. That's fine. Yeah, these M2x3s fit in here perfect. Oh my god, they're so good. And we're good! Alright, we're back together. Let's uh, put power to it. I'm going to change the uh, the sharpening, and I just realized I completely forgot to show you guys the DVR. Here's the DVR that I promised. Wait until you see this shit. This memory is called, this memory card is called Wet Fart. Here you go. This is what you have to fly through with the Caddx Baby Turtle. I don't know why it's black and white. Uh, I am gonna really turn the volume down. Or maybe even off. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn the volume off. Look at how bad this is. It's not usually black and white. I don't know why it's black and white, but... Uh, I also don't know what the fuck that just was. Why did it go to the beginning of another thing? What the fuck, dude? What, what's happening? it black and white? What the fuck? They're all black. Well, okay, there's color, just for no reason. Okay. I'll just give you guys the color, because it actually looks better in black and white. Now I'm, like, thinking about flying it in black and white. There it is in color. Weird. I gotta mute that. That's, that's too much. So, yeah, this is what you have to fly through. Let me, let me just leave this on for a minute so you guys can see the... The impossibleness oh battery Ooh. I'm almost done baby Now I have no video. What the fuck? 
Really? Come on, man. Don't. What? Now it's black and white again. What the? Why is it black? What? I mean, it was obviously not black and white in the goggles. What? I guess here's this one again. Why? Why? Why does all of our gear suck so bad? Tiago is in here indeed. Oh my god, Tiago, happy birthday from Kristen and mainly from Kristen. I didn't remember. She's a f she's ten times the person that any of us are though, so she remembers shit like that. Yeah, happy birthday, Tiago, you son of a bitch. Good job staying alive. Save an exit. Save and exit. Okay. Sharpness is fixed. What do you guys think of that uh, FPV view? Crystal clear, right? Can you, can you believe? Yeah, like, like it, it's, it's like a joke how bad it is. Right? It's crazy. It's so bad. I don't, um, yeah, like, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm willing to make sacrifices. I'm willing to make sacrifices for HD, but there's a difference between making sacrifices and not being able to fly the fucking thing. Like, did, did you guys notice in the, in the HD when I was trying to punch through the, those holes in the trees that, like, I had to stop and, like, really, like, approach really slowly and, like, and, the, and like, kind of look, and then move forward a little bit, and then look, and then move forward again. Like, I, I, <laughs> I just wanted to bomb that. Like, I bombed that with everything else, and it's completely fine. But with the, uh, yeah, not with the Baby Turtle FPV feed. Here, look how it fits. Now, it, I just kind of opened it up a little bit on the corners here. Because that, that's what it was hitting. It was just hitting on the corners of the board. Um... And yeah, it was just, th this corner was really bad because it was hitting the, uh, the big connector in there, the, the ribbon connector thing. Um, on this back corner, it wasn't that bad. Oh, fuck, I almost forgot to put the, uh, the memory card back in it. Oh, my God. Yeah, so that's another really annoying part is when you um, forget to put the memory card back in and you screw down and zip tie down the goddamn canopy um, and then you have to undo all of that just to get it back open to put it's it's just this it just makes no sense to have hd on this rig so i think what i'm going to do is fly these motors on it because i'm already kind of committed try to get like a half decent freestyle battery or two and then just bail on the hd thing and then just throw an fpv camera in it and be done with it um and then it can just be like a a fun little uh, FPV only rig and then maybe at some point if there's a really cool um, if there's a really cool Insta360 Go mount this will become like a third person only Insta360 Go rig that would be kind of funny right to have like a a strangely dedicated third person view rig It'd be fun if you don't think so, you're wrong, and I'm going to beat you. <laughs> it'll also be nice to save, like... Christ, it'll save, like, 10 grams taking this HD setup out of it and just putting a regular camera in there. That'll, um... Then I can probably move back down to the 1304s. <laughs> undo everything we've done here. I, I, I won't do that, though. I'll, I'll keep these, uh... I'll keep it as, like, a big power rig. What the hell, right? Really test the durability on it. Eh, get out of there. 
All right, ladies and germs, that's the tiny trainer. Now with 1404 6000. Is it really so dark out that I can't go fucking fly this? I'm so curious. What time is it? 9.30? I mean, I can go across the street to one of the really well-lit parking lots. Uh, Frank, yeah, they're like that. It's very, very close. They don't quite touch. Um, the problem, though, is if you don't... So it's designed to have these guys zip-tied down, and if you don't zip-tie them down, they fucking flap around and they bang into the props, and it's it's just ridiculous. They are really close, though. They were nowhere near this close on those 1304s, but they're, they're definitely not touching. Um, but man, yeah, they are, they are very close. Yeah, there it is. Uh, so the question becomes, what propellers? Uh, I guess I'm going to go all the way the opposite direction and go all the way back down to the low pitch. Um, uh, oh, you know what I'm going to try? The, uh, the Gemfan 3016s, because that, that'll emulate the, uh, the HQ 3x1.5. <clears throat> so we'll put those on here first. And then we'll go up from there. Yeah, there they are. Cool. Left. Right. Right. And left. More weight equals more powder, power equals more battery. The cycle begins. Yeah, Athix, it's... um With the... So with the toothpick rigs, where you're talking like 80 to 90 grams all up um, on those lighter weight rigs they really suffer from uh, the HD setups like the extra 10 or so grams really hurt those rigs um, these th so this is up in like the 150 range so I thought that it would probably be a little bit better um, in absorbing that 10 grams and it is for sure uh, but now the, the, the new problem is the unflyability of the FPV feed. Um, so whole different problem, but, uh, I don't know. We'll see. I, I'll, I'll give it a little bit more time. I'm, I'm very tempted to, to blame it on Caddx and, uh, and just get the, uh, the run cam tiny little nano guy but I think I'm gonna wait um, because I can't imagine that it's that much better than this one and I'm sure at some point they'll finagle like a, a 4k or at least 2.7k version of them and then that'll that'll be the one to to get or actually hopefully by that point I can get whoever comes with that to send me a uh, to send me um a review unit that would be amazing that would be terrific I guess I need to do a review okay so that's what I'll do I'll see if I can get a review going on the uh, run cam hybrid and that'll be good because I'll show you guys the settings that I use I use kind of weird settings um, basically what I'm doing with the settings that I use is um, kind of like faking ProTune. Um, I basically turn down everything because the the less you're asking the uh, the processor in there to do, like pushing in more saturation, pushing in more contrast, um, versus you don't ask it to push those things, and then you push those things in Premiere, which is a um, piece of software that's going to do those tasks much better, right? Fancy, expensive piece of software making those pushing contrast and, and pushing contra uh, or saturation, rather, for example, 
um, rather than the you know pithy little brain that's built into this thing doing those adjustments. So there you go. There there are the uh, the arms zip tied. To, oh, you guys couldn't see any of that, huh? Great, great. Yeah, so they um, they clear just fine. Frank makes a good point. Have you ever checked rotation direction uh, of the replacement motors? Nope. <laughs> but I do all that stuff in... Um, I do all of that in BL Heli anyway. I don't reverse the wires. Um, oh, fuck me. I can't get to the goddamn USB port. Oh, you son of a bitch. You... you Damn it. <laughs> well, hold on. If the motors aren't spinning in the right direction, it's going to have to come apart. <laughs> Frank, yeah, right? <laughs> uh, where am I going to fly it? <laughs> it's dark out. It's, uh, it's 9.40 here. <laughs> All right, well... My fingers are crossed. Ooh, that one's correct. Ooh, that one's correct. That one's correct. <laughs> Today was a good day. I'm a simple guy, you know? I don't... <laughs> oh, whoo! Dodged a bullet on that one. <laughs> God, these motors look, like, quite a bit bigger. The The bell design is completely different, um, but yeah, these motors look completely different. Whew, man. Wow, that was a that was a scary moment there. There was uh there was definite fucking <laughs> that was there was like ruin my night potential right there. Uh anybody watching Space Force on Netflix? If you're not all watching it, you should be. Cuz it's real good. Steve Carell is fantastic and it just perfectly illustrates the absurdity of having a, a branch of the military dedicated to uh, space. Oh, God, everything Trump does is so stupid. Um, <laughs> it's really good, though. It's really, really funny and uh, really good acting, really good casting. Well, Frank, they're they're all up there. Um, you can you can binge watch it to your heart's content. You can rip through every single one of them. <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, right. Uh, what is hap? What did I? Is, is this? I think this is too short. Um. Are you shorter, little fella? Yes, he is. How did that guy sneak in there? Okay. Two left. There we go. Okay. Wow, this thing is really stripped. Well, might be getting an email tomorrow. Be like, so... I've had this forever. If you guys don't want to replace it, I get it. I wouldn't. But, if you do want to replace it, eh, you know, that'd be cool. I'm into it if you want to. If not, I totally get it. What if I... <laughs> I'm so tempted to actually send the email like that. <laughs> Just be super, like... Well, love what you guys are making, and <laughs> it 
it's so cool that you put the <laughs> lifetime warranty on them anyway. I don't want to seem... Uh, <laughs> I don't want to seem ungrateful, guys, but... God damn it, come on, catch! <laughs> Was there a short choke? The bell better not be stripped. There it is. Now these screws are just a little bit too short. Um, but you don't need a lot of bite on the um, for these guys. So I run the shortest ones that I possibly can. They only like I only get like one thread of engagement, but that's really all you need. Um, I'd rather do that and save a millimeter of uh, of motor height weight. Oh, 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 oh! I know what I did. These two guys are up here, aren't they? These are M7s, M2 by sevens rather here. I switched these with the propeller screws. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. There we go. I never noticed these. Well, it's it's different on every every, every single prop hub is is slightly different. Um, so I think these Gemfan 3016 hubs are a little bit thicker than the uh, Emacs Avan hubs uh, because I had these all on the Emacs. Well, I mean, actually, all the props I ran today. And then these guys are a little shorter, and that's fine because they're going in the front here. Good looking little quad, right? I don't think there's a better looking quad. I mean, the the color is even starting to grow on me. I, I was, I don't know. I, I still might end up going back to the all black look, but I don't know. I think the I think the purple is starting to grow on me. I would love to see what the uh, the darker purple, the violet TPU would look like. I think that would look really kind of subtle. Um, and classy and wonderful. <laughs> uh, okay, there it is. Out, 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 out. What'll be interesting? Oh, you know what I can test right now is um, how notchy these motors are. So I have a pretty aggressive tune on here already, um, and those motors were nice and smooth. So if I fire this thing up in here um, and hover it, if it tries to fly away and leaves a tiny trainer-shaped dent in the in the ceiling, we'll know that these are um, th these are definitely more notchy. But we'll know if they're like I don't want to say too notchy, but I don't know. Let's just say let's, let's just do it. Yeah. All right. Let me find a battery. It's got some power left in it. Uh, 3.8. Uh, not quite enough. What's this one got? 3.6? No, no, no. How about this one? Oh, 3.7. No, no, no. Oh god, 3.3? What? Hold on, gotta get this one on the charger.
I'm missing a battery for this thing. Where the hell did it go? Did I eat it? Uh, the, the, the nacho meter, yeah. Yeah, we should call this process the nacho meter. Aggressive tune. Indoor hover test. Alright, so this battery only has... This, this battery's at storage, so we'll be a little bit... Careful. It's one of the R-Line batteries that's just up and vanished. I don't know where the hell it went. Alright, let's see. Let's give this a shot. Boop, boop, boop. Poop, poop. Yeah, it's it's funny that the really notchy motors the mo like make the motors slam to a stop. Sweet. Wow, it's different flying in here with the fan off. Motors are not hot. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Maybe it'll be fine. Notchiness doesn't matter. Confirmed. Not true. Not true. Not true. Not true. Not true. Not true. Uh, what do you think about the battery sag compensation of 4.2? Travis, I think it's a great idea. Uh, I have not used it yet, though. Uh... I'm still working on some more. I'm still working on the on the throttle, but 4.2 was a complete nightmare. <sighs> Farts on a micro, um, and it's acting kind of weird on my five-inch rig. Um, I took the micro off of 4.2 and I put it back onto 4.1, and I just haven't flown it yet. Um, so, yeah, where's the cat? Probably asleep on the bed. He's a lazy little shit. Um, so yeah, I'll fly this tomorrow. Got three batteries on the charger now. Uh, I just gotta find, I gotta find the missing one, and I'll throw this on the next rounds. And yeah, I'll uh, maybe I'll throw that up on Patreon. Um, oh really? Oh shit. Yorando says uh, heard Steel name drop you on his latest podcast talking about Nachi micromotors. Very cool. Uh, been hearing the new profile files for. 4.2 have been flying good on 5-inch. Sick. I um, I think the uh, the throttle wobble thing is, is good to go. I just haven't... Um, I just haven't been paying attention to it with, with everything else that's going on. Um, cool. All right, so yeah, I'll fly this tomorrow on a couple different sets of props. Uh, I'm not going to do this again uh, because I just wanted to give you guys the initial proof of unbelievable impossible to fly throughness FPV feed uh, what else what do you guys want to see before Sunday or on Sunday what do you want to see on Sunday on or before on realistically Ugh. farts Ugh. Is science real? Asks Travis Cook. Well, I mean, I'm broadcasting my face, and uh, I'm broadcasting my face and voice throughout the entire planet. And you guys are watching it and typing back to me with, like, no delay. So, science is pretty real. Say my pod suck. 
uh, <laughs> lake footage, Patrick says. After, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll get that uh, late afternoon lake footage. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get out of here. Everybody uh, jump over to um, Bot Grinders uh, stream. I'm going over there as well. Uh, thanks for hanging, guys. I'll fly this some tomorrow, and uh, we can fix it again tomorrow night. <laughs> Be good, everybody. I'll see you. Uh, see you Sunday at 3 o'clock Eastern and or over on Bot's channel. Later.